Welcome, Welcome to the right. yeah, that's good. Good. I feel like we're going downhill. No, we're not going downhill. Going, going, I mean, like, welcome going. to the Thursday Film Club. I'm joined by four fantastic fellows to review the film Rope, the Alfred Hitchcock classic. Danny, Tom, Josh, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. I'm ill. I'm all right. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm really ill. Josh oh. doesn't look all right. Josh does not look good. <laughs> looks okay. like a bit of raw chicken. Yeah, I feel that way. <laughs> We're digressing from Josh, <laughs> the ever-present illness. <laughs> Danny! Yes? What did you think of the film? Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. What was it that made you enjoy the film? Was only... uh, I like films that are all set in one place. Ooh. always find that interesting. What other films like that? Uh, 12 Angry Men. Room that uh, one. Lock One. Yeah. Lock is no, good. good. Lock is good. Yeah, Hateful Eight. Yeah, Hateful Eight is quite similar. Probably. What did I just say to you just then? Broom Real. is to the. Is it? Uh, it's like two like, parts. Well, if you say the Hateful Eight, you can say Broom. It's the same thing. Well, Broom's like two halves. The first half is mainly in the room. Yeah, Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight's like the first ten minutes yeah. is not uh, in the thing, yeah. but yeah, uh, I like films like that when they're good. Not when they're shit. <laughs> so oh, yeah. yeah. Was I liked uh, the camera work, I guess you'd say. Camera work was good. They had some good shots. It was good long angle shots. I don't know if it's because all the old films I watch are probably like Alfred Hitchcock films or just old films were. Well, if I'm being honest, that was the, that was the second one I've ever seen. I don't know second seen Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. yeah. Have you got to try harder when you don't have... I don't know, I guess yeah. you can't do it. be more inventive. Yeah. That's the word. Can you say Tom? CGI and stuff. Should we give a, uh, a quick synopsis, description of the film? Yeah, so it's two... basically. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, who Let's wants do a line it? each. Yeah, it's the guy that gets a boner about killing people. <laughs> uh, and it's all set in his apartment or his mate's apartment. Both of them. I think they share it. Yeah, I think they yeah. share it. Although I didn't see. Two bedrooms. Maybe there's two gay guys. <laughs> no, Maybe. Yeah, they're yeah. driving up to Connecticut. One of them went out with the woman. Definitely had bonus to hold for yeah. them. So. <laughs> I think it was definitely... No, yeah. their mate went out with the woman. No, no, he, he did as well. He was yeah. like, uh, you went from me to Steve yeah. to Jeff. Um, anyway, the guy, the two guys kill another guy at the start of the film. I think the main guy's name was Chum. Brandon. Yeah, that's why that woman kept... Brandon him. Chum. Brandon Chum. Chum, Chum Brandon. Brandon was his last name. And I think, <laughs> yeah, it was, I mean, he pretty much nailed the synopsis. Oh, yeah. um, no, like no, no, no. So, so, so these two guys basically murder this, uh, this other guy, David, who you never meet. And he, well, you do, I guess, at the beginning. You, yeah. see, his, you see him being murdered. <laughs> you never meet him. You don't even... What he does as soon as you see him. Yeah, okay, fine. You see David and he gets, put, he gets put in the trunk in this, in this house, in this apartment. And um, it's basically, they killed him kind of to prove a point almost mm. to say just to prove that they can kill someone and right. commit the perfect crime mm. the perfect murder whatever and it's all kind of inspired by um one of the guys and his love his like strange infatuation with their old housemaster mm. from prep school mm. who says that murdering someone is the privilege of the superior so is a housemaster just a headmaster I think I feel he's like, like he was the head of the house, like like head of Hogwarts. Head of the front he was the McGonagall of their house. Oh, okay. Like yeah, so like I think you have dorms based on yeah. which house you're in, and yeah. the do- house master is, is like in charge. It's of the a dorms. bit like, uh, well, actually, it's not really. It's kind of like the Purge. I guess more of that guy yeah, would enjoy the Purge. Because yeah. in the Purge, I've only seen the first one, but it's that like <laughs> really more than one. Two. Yeah, it's like four. Yeah, like one. I don't even knew it's three. three. <laughs> anyway, the guy in the first one's like really posh, isn't he? And he mm. gets like a real boner mm. about him. He's a warlock. Oh, no. no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a warlock. So Ethan Hawk. Oh, <laughs> no, the guy, the guy that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He gets a real boner about it anyway, and he's pretty posh. Hmm, yeah. He definitely would have fit in in the purge. Um, yeah, I think yeah. yeah. It's pretty great. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. I think that was that's a 
Yeah, I think yeah. when was it released? Was it 48, 1948? The rope. And uh, I don't know, man. It's pretty cool because it's done. I really enjoyed how it was done entirely as if you could just move it to the stage and all the direction and all of the writing could stay exactly the same. It is a play, isn't it? It is a play. It's, yeah. it's like a video play. It's pretty cool. No, but I, I think it is adapted from a play. Oh, of the same writer? Was it a Hitchcock play? No. Did Hitchcock write it? I don't think he wrote it. Di- 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 it. What do you think about the name Rope? Maybe should have called cool. it like Box. No, I, don't think, yeah, I, I think it was a bit, um, I don't know. <laughs> I think they were relying on rope and then like, they did oh, the murder yeah. with the rope and then finding and the rope being key throughout. And they were all tied together. Whoa. <laughs> Revolution. If you had to uh, if you had to murder Sorry. someone in this flat like pull a rope in this flat where would you hide the body? Hmm. Up in that weird shelf. In Granted Tinker. there is not a lot yeah. of room in this flat. Um, T- T's got a weird uh, alcove. Yeah, like a balcony on top of his bed. Yeah, yeah I think that would go well. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll put a picture of it on the website. So then we can get it but, uh, at like four in the morning, take it to your car, drive up to like <laughs> the sticks, mm. burn yeah. it. Just, just drop it in the Snedden Market. No, no one cares. Been there for weeks. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I'd put it in the, oh. in the cupboard above the washing machine cupboard oh, yeah. fucking no one no one even knows that exists little crannies around here what um, okay yes. so no Tom, we'll chop him up and feed him down that little <laughs> pipe <laughs> uh, Tom <laughs> oh, that was uh, what was your favourite character who sorry what was your favourite character in the, in the film um, probably I mean probably Rupert yeah man Rupert's the house master Columbo yeah, oh. yeah and he, he basically Columbo's the shit out of them but he's actually really bad because he has it from about uh, five from minutes start, after yeah. he enters the flat but then yeah, every single Columbo time move. every single time that they kind of give it away more he's like oh whoa it's like he became no less way. sure about yeah. it until at the end he was like I don't know oh I could look <laughs> in the chest <laughs> Columbo would, wouldn't even look in the chest he'd just like call the police in and then he'd go He's in the chest, yeah. and then he just—he wouldn't even look in the chest. He'd never have to look. He would just walk out, drop his stogie, and just fucking yeah. walk out. He wouldn't need to prove it to himself because he already knows. That um, that guy was his name, um, Rupert. Chum, Chum, Chum. His, uh, Chum is the main um killer. His obviously his narcissism is the downfall of the plan. Yeah. Um, I, I like how um the two characters are kind of like the opposite way of dealing with. Uh, the two main characters are the opposite way of dealing with murdering someone. Yeah. Uh, well, the one guy's like, oh, what have I done? No. And then one guy's like, yeah, this is great. I love this. Yeah. yeah. He had the boner. Yeah. Yeah, Philip, he had the boner. Had Philip the boner. didn't have a boner. The other guy was Philip, like... I don't feel like he wanted to do it. No. But, yeah. he but he's bumped. got such a boner for chum that he would just go <laughs> on the boner. Yeah. Yeah. I, think they, I think they leapt... They, they, they were foiled too easily. I mean, when that dude came round, they should have just been like, "I thought the yeah." They, shoot him. they shouldn't <laughs> have invited someone over that always thinks about murder. this sort of murder. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it was so perfect. I guess they wanted him Sorry. to kind of find out. Didn't it's definitely. Oh, I think Chum did. Chum, yeah, Chum wanted him to find out and then be like, he wanted the guy to be like, "Wow, yeah, beautiful." That entire monologue at the end where he was like, Amazing. "You've made me. You've made me like." You know, I've I said those things, and now I have to live up to the words. You know, you've given meaning to the words that I've spoken, and yeah. now I have to face the reality and live up to them. Amazing. And then Chum's world comes crashing down. Yeah, but like it was, was and he just makes a drink. But it was so at the end as yeah, well. that's a cool ending where they're all just like in different parts. And he starts painting the red and green lights. Yeah. But it was um, it was it was so weird how I thought I thought it was it was a cool ending, but Rupert goes from kind of basically having the same beliefs as Chum and inspiring him to be like, yeah, intermension and ubermension and superior beings and whatever, and it's okay to kill the right. inferior people. And then as soon as he sees it, instead of just being like, oh man, like existential crisis, he's like, oh wait, now I'm like a humanist and I fucking, you know, hate murder and I love every human being yeah. in the world, you know? Like, it really opened his eyes. <sighs> um, that scene was great. Oh, yeah, and I also love the scene where he was playing piano. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, the metronome was really good. It's so good, like, like just too fast yeah. for the the tune he's playing. Like, how much would that stress? What the hell, you what the hell, hell was that stopping so it and starting it? What does that thing yeah. even do? 
It's for it's keeping, keeping time. time. That's it's like the tempo. Or what you but if you're playing a song, how can you keep in time with something that's going tick tock? Because that's the tempo. That's how many beats per minute mm. the song is played. Because you have like a, you know time signature of a song would be like four four. There's four beats to a bar. So you Tasty. Just play along to the metronome. I feel like it would put me off if I had a metronome too. There was that, and then uh, kept on what was that girl at school called Wanky Number or something? Yeah. But anyway, yeah. she she played with a metronome, but it always seemed to put her off. She kept fucking up. Would you say uh, it was an ode to all of his other works, or was it any different what to, way? from was what it, you've seen? Was uh, it, did it follow the same trend? Was it, was it after his other works? Before. Uh, it happened to be an ode to his other works if it came out before. Okay, maybe after. No, it was fairly different from everything else he's done in it. I've only seen. Well, only seen subject, I've right, only the seen the birds. That's good. It's it's good. It's it's good. Good. Yeah, um, the birds, Rear window. Window. Rear window, and Vertigo. Rear it's window definitely is likes. Brilliant. It's definitely like Strange on a Train. Hundred percent. It's like Rear Window as well, actually. I mean, it's even got the same actors. It's set in like a hot New York summer, mm. all in one apartment. Oh man, Rear Window is so hot. Like they're all so <laughs> sweaty. Yeah, it's so hot. And there's that uh, fit girl like that does the ballet dancing in the back room. Mm. And then What's... that like hoity-toity. Wait, no, he's, he's cool, isn't he? That's like a piano player or something. Yeah, like, like a cool jazz party. pianist. Maybe this, that's this... the party from. Uh, it's so maybe a bit of a digression. Yeah. But maybe we're... Oh, wow. You know the, the woman that came in, the, the young fit woman? I'm going to call her Chum. I think she was called Janet. No, don't call her Chum. Chum, call, Chum call her. Janet. Call her Janet. Janet. Chum, Chum um, call her. <laughs> she Chum call her. went out with those three guys. Yeah. Now, this is set in the 40s, right? Yeah, I believe so. So do you reckon she had... She didn't bang him. Oh. Okay, but do you reckon she had missionary sex so. with all three? Because old people say it's I mean, kind I of... I guess so. Wait, do you reckon in the 40s they only had missionary sex? Mm. But I feel like it's kind of still early enough. It's pre-60s, so it's kind of pre-free like free love. I reckon I she was like missionary sex. So in the 40s, I'd still think to bend someone over. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying like people didn't have sex before marriage. No, oh, no, she, she yeah, they did. Them. In the 40s? Yeah. yeah. No. People in the Just war. Just after the war? People in the war. So many VG that was going right. Shagging or, French people. How many rapes there were in fucking World War Two? Yeah. Real numbers. Yeah, okay, God, fine. The rapes so debauched and, back then. Rapes and prosies is different to a fine, young American gal back in the States. You're, not gonna, really, you're not gonna... She did look a little frigid. Oh no, 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 I no. Think she, looked she looked cute. loose. Yeah. She looked she like she was like, like oh, fucking Yankee Tony, po. She was not tight. <laughs> Definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, Alright, so let's, let's uh, should we give it our ratings out of 10? Should we all take a minute to consider? Okay, what was your worst? Uh, say, say what I was, was going like, to say, like. what did you think was the worst part of the film? Because you, you have to count right. What do you think was the worst uh, yeah. aspect of the film? Or what you didn't like? What didn't you like? We don't know. I don't know. What Josh? Did you, okay, yeah. Josh, yeah, of course. Uh, what didn't I like? What didn't I like? I don't know, the weird kind of janky attempts to hide the cuts. Well, I didn't like those at first, but then after the first one, I think I sort of did like it. How there's like four throughout, it it's, does sort yeah. of split it up in a nice way. I guess doesn't you got, it? Yeah. It's, it's you cute. Got to do that. If they'd only put like one in there, then it would have been like, oh, well, you're obviously just. Trying to cut it up without us ruler because yeah. you fucked up the full long take. No yeah, <laughs> but because there was four, it does kind of split it up quite well, I think. And the way the backdrop, I guess, periodically mm. changes with it. I didn't even notice any. Didn't you? I was I missed on the first back. two. No, I missed the first two because you go, oh, there's one, and I was like, oh, no, shit. But no, I didn't. It was smooth. Any. It was Hitchcock yeah. smooth. For uh, everyone listening, T did fall asleep halfway through. I didn't fall asleep. I was just chilling. <laughs> um, no, it was good. I did. There's nothing I didn't really like about it. If I'm being honest, it would be. Picky I think. To, uh, I think. Yeah, I can't really think of anything. It could have been like cleverer, maybe. Like it was a bit. It was it obvious caught. in some places? And them getting caught was a facade. I feel like if whoever wrote, whoever writes the episodes of Columbo, if they had helped write this film, it would have been better. It would have been shit because Columbo is shit. Columbo's too long. An episode I'm of Columbo and smoke my cigarette. And an episode no. of Columbo is longer than that film. Yeah, like, it is. It goes on way long. too long. Yeah. <laughs> but that's with ad breaks. Yeah, but I feel like even without that, it goes on for about. The ad breaks are just the the janky cuts. <laughs> when Tom, yeah. well, you know, how he was on about like it was a bit like some of like 
Poirot at the beginning. It's yeah. kind of like that, surely. It is a very never watched pretty a classic Poirot. setup. Really. Yeah. Well, not and so much because it wasn't. It wasn't like a who done it in the sense that Poirot is like gather, every, it? gather everyone around at like a dinner party and be like, okay, you're all suspects. We're gonna figure out. I'm gonna Poirot you and figure out who but is no, the actual killer. Were... And that wasn't the case. Yeah, they it was all suspects. It's yeah. more of a Columbus setup where. Mm. You, you knew who it was, yeah. and no one else is a suspect. Yeah, yeah, because in Colombo, you see at the start of the thing, you see them do the murder, and this the satisfaction comes from watching Colombo. Yeah, take them out. Poirot take is out. good though. That uh, Poirot is good. Yeah. That one on the train, the Pandemonium Poirot Express. The Pandemonium <laughs> Express. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I think my know. what I didn't like about it was s- some of the some of the characters <laughs> writing was really weird and off and it did seem like for although I know it was supposed to be from a play it didn't really fit on the on the screen you know like it uh, some of the characters their just conversations didn't flow very naturally at all do you know what I mean like like, what? like uh, Janet especially was just like would say something and say something straight away like none of her senses they actually they all talk so fast yeah and oh, 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 oh. I mean that is cool writing it's classic Hitchcock but something about it just it feels really off it's not very natural I don't know, their way of speaking that seem like a gen- generic film from that age they all speak like that they all speak it's not like that in Real Window yeah but if you look at like loads of period films they all it, speak like that it oh, is like that in Real Window no, his conversation that guy cause that, what's that actor called the one that played Rupert James Stewart he, he would speak for a troller. No, yeah, yeah, but I'm not... Yeah. Me- but, like, basically, their, their quick wit and their quick humour is... is really, like... It's so odd, you know? Like, they always just have something to say straight away to every line. They're yeah, I know just, what you mean. Like, I don't, it's I so kinda obviously like that, written. But I think... I guess I like that because it's an old film and it's like, ooh, I'm watching an old film. They talk like this in the old film. Tell you what bit I love was... Uh, when they were like talking about why they're using this table, and then it cuts to zooms in on his face, and he's just like watching them speak and like just clearly figuring it out. Yeah, and it, like it like holds it on his face. For, like, All the his, bits like, where um, there's dialogue, right. but it doesn't actually show you them talking. Like the bit with right. the the bit with the maid, where she's like tidying the place away and bringing the books in. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you cool. don't, I don't. I can't think of another film where you get something quite like that. Oh, the, the one where it's <laughs> like a deep, sorry, the deep Shit. focus, and it's like her taking everything off the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes so far back, and it takes so long to get back there. It's almost like, yeah, not quite right. like if it was a Tarantino film and they did a shot like that, it would be so ridiculously far back. Yeah. But it was like <laughs> farcical. <laughs> it's a great like use of space. Yeah, good set, good set. Yeah, I guess that's a good thing about Hitchcock films. I don't know, I've only seen like three. I think I would need to be more. Yeah. Well, I think I need to be more well versed in his work. Have you seen Psycho? No, I don't watch it. You should watch it. Out. I had to watch it for media. Let's do, let's do an episode of the podcast on Psycho. Tune in next week. I don't think it's all that good. It's good, but it's not that good. What it didn't you like about it? What did you not like about it? Well, there was actually nothing I can I can say. Um, just you know, it was good. How could it improve? It could, uh, be more uh, clever. A bit more. It's a bit less obvious, and a bit less um, the 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 uh, subtle. The, the way the uh, the plan fell apart was a bit a bit fucking stupid in my yeah. Mind. Like yeah, I don't think it was clever enough. It and plus, was, it was and there was like, the, the, the scene where, you know, when they were going to get the guy's the guy had the gun pointed at him, and they were like in this little scuffle to get it. I'm sorry, that was just not... Okay, it, was, nah, it, was, it was a bit amateur, I suppose, that bit. And there was no talking during it, it felt really <laughs> awkward. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and there's already a shot fired in the house, no one notices. Yeah, yeah. Fire going out of the window. You open a single pane window and suddenly, <laughs> that was a gunshot, oh my god. I liked I liked how you could hear that entire conversation on, yeah, on the that street, was, that was cool. and they're like, "What was that? It must be some kind of emergency." <laughs> <laughs> I like there was a funny bit when the guy was like, "No, that's not happening." Or the guy, the guy, the guy when he's like getting drunk. Yeah, he's like, "No, don't tell him. He's dead. You're going to have a oh, drink." Yeah, he's in the background, just <laughs> really pissed off. <laughs>
So moody. I go with All right, should we give it ratings out of 10 now? Yeah, that's, yeah. so uh, stop the time. All right, hang on, hang on. What, we can go out of 5? 5 and 10. 10. Um, I've got a number in my head. I'm not changing it, no matter what you guys say, so... Okay. So yeah. What's the what what's what's a what's a five out of ten? Like? Well, so we just set yeah. the precedent here. What's a five out of five? 10? To for the me, record, it's yeah. slightly below average. For the record, me and Danny feel as though five is 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 not average. Because I think if you averaged all the films in IMDb, the average score rating would, be five. would not be five. I think it would be about like five point eight, <laughs> really? maybe six. They're quite a lot of I ones. Haven't, I haven't crunched the number. Yeah, but I, I guess I don't count like those films that aren't really films. Yeah, but they yes. count. They count. They're, that's how you know. They don't you count have to take to every piece of cinema and average it. I guess. You know? I guess uh, an average rating based on films that I've watched. Then, oh, you watch but, good movies. Well, I don't watch absolute shit movies. I definitely <laughs> yeah. watch some shit, but I don't watch like the movies that someone's made in their like garden or something. I'm going to be sort of like weird Indian films that have That's like why I don't one think garden when you say an average film you should be going off IMDb. I think what should, should I be going? I get you. Your personal opinion. Well, but then I still have to base it against my own rating system. Yeah. And, and in my that. rating system five is not average. <laughs> okay. Danny, Tom, you first. go first. Let me you think have a film that I'd give five to. I'd give Paul Blart more cop 5.4 What? Not a 3.8? I don't think I've ever given anything below 5 Maybe I'm I need to reevaluate I've films below 5 I've given oh. films 2 Like what? And on my rating 2 is just a die All right, so if That film we talking, watch together is distilled If we're disgusting. talking like what average film? films I'd say 300 is an average film oh, I'd Would you give that a 5? I'd probably give that above 5 I'd give it a 7 I think that's seven. better than average See, seven, Yeah but if 5's average and you're giving it a 7 Yeah but I think it's better than average No, 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 no That's no. well above average Okay seven. I wasn't using my yeah, I was using seven as saying it's alright. But you like three hundred. I like it. Yeah. I guess yeah. it's all right. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. <laughs> so let's all agree now on what is the average film. Let's let's just mm. like, every, some kind of rom com. Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe is an average film. I've never really watched that all the way through. No, neither. Josh, I think it's bad. <coughs> it's not bad. It's not a bad film. Yeah, Liam Neeson as I like you are my five. destiny. Yeah, it's good. Five. On your but I've never seven, watched right? it, so that doesn't help me. Okay, um, Jaws two. Jaws. No, that's I've never watched good. Jaws two. I've seen Jaws. Alien. I've seen Jaws about three. Five. But uh, these are just like these films are like shit, isn't it? What about like uh, just had one. Um, what's oh, just like? Uh, Run Lola Run is an average film, and that gets no, a that's a great yeah, film. Yeah, that is an average. That's film. an average film. Awesome. I guess a seven. That's a film with a good idea, but it's it pretty. Run, run, not yeah, Lola. it's well good. Run Lola Run. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. No, no, I I'd give that like a six point five. And I would say that's an average film. Okay, fine. Compared to Run Lola Run, then what about Taken? <laughs> that's pretty average. Yeah, right, not right, seen right. Taken. Or you know one of those Actually, Jason know, Statham like films like the yeah, I'd get Taken a guy. six. A six, yeah, because it's six better than average. Like, well, it's average, but it's not like shit average. No, a six for me would be, it's okay. Yeah, six is like yeah, good take average. It. Four is like bad average. Seven is, is seven average. is yeah. Right, well, I guess I can roll with that anyway. Yeah. So I give this film, The Rope. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just rope. I'd give it a a flint off rating of. Flint off rating. Probably about seven. Give it a dead seven. I think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give it based on its kind of originality. Because I've never seen anything like it before, and also it was done in pretty much 1950, so it is pretty original. I'd probably give it an eight. And an eight? Yeah, I think it's it's well. Why are claims from the boys? That's here. high. Yeah, because I think it's a good film. If I give a film an eight, I'd expect beast. Carry on. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with Danny. Seven. I'd go for, I think I'm going to have to say 6.5. Maybe, I'm maybe. Sure maybe. I'm so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Get your brackets, mate. Yeah, where's my brackets? Oh, shit. So we've got 7 from me, 7 from Josh, 8 from Tom, 6.5 from T. 
So that gives it an average of 7.125. I'd say we round to the nearest, so we'll give that 7.1. That's the official Thursday Night Film Club, whatever the fucking podcast That called. will be the official Thursday Night Film, what the fuck are we called? Film Hour Club. Thursday Film Hour Finale. That is the <laughs> Thursday Film Club official rating. Right, we're film writing Hour. it on the board. <laughs> 7.1 oh, That's your So definite 7.1 for Rope It tops the leaderboard Ooh. Do you know What IMDB gave it? 8.2 innit? I'd yeah, say Give it is. Like yeah Definitely above 7.8 8.1 2 It's definitely made it Into the top 250 Really? Do you think? Yeah, yeah. 8 8's it's easily In dead, the top 250 dead on 8 out of 10 So you're yeah. IMDB So I am correct I won you didn't win. What do I win? What was it? You lose for being a fucking Eight. chump. For being too Getting basic. Getting a film chump. <laughs> so that means you've seen... You've seen... Are you just giving that film eight just because? Because you've seen better films than that. He's giving it eight given because nine. it's old and it's like, ooh, it's really good for the time. But I guess I'm giving it seven because it's like... It's all right. I just compared it to... It's if good, it came, yeah. that came out now. I've never I'm, seen anything like it. I don't give it an extra point for being old. You I'm not giving it. As, I'm giving it. Rating. I'm saying the originality factor goes up because it's old, which I suppose, in a way, does make my rating of it slightly higher. But exactly, whatever. Seven point one's fair. You went pretty low, six point five. I don't think. I don't. Yeah, think it doesn't it, seem like your sort of movie. I'm not gonna just wank off a film because you know. I'm, I definitely feel it was good, but I'm not gonna give it any. More yeah, I don't really there. care about the characters at all. I cared quite a lot about the more like fragile one of the murderers. Yeah, I mean, he was quite yeah. tragic. What you see is what you get with that film, I think. Uh, yeah, so should we move on? To okay, the sure. Next? I mean, yeah, cool. Sorry. Sorry. T, <laughs> T is hosting this podcast. <laughs> no, that. sorry. No, um, yeah, cheers, boys. You've really helped me out there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next on the itinerary. We have... Um, said itinerary. Yeah, for everyone that couldn't hear that whisper. <laughs> oh, it would have been it. Oh, whatever. Uh, uh, we have a game specially made by the boy Bocker. Uh, yes. Yeah, Josh, I what's the name, this, the name of this game? Because when you wrote it out, it seemed like... Saying, it's called... Wait, it's called... They played them. <laughs> they played them. <laughs> no, but it's got to be... They played them. They played them. So, yeah. Josh, do you want to explain the game loudly? Okay, I have in my hand a green hat and in my other hand a grey hat. Both shit. Uh, one of them has characters in... Bits of paper with... Bits of characters with characters. characters, characters. It's got a little mini Fidel Castro in One of them has... Actors and other ca- characters in Kilo. And what you guys have to do is pick one from each hat and do an impression of that character or actor voicing the other character. Alright. So it'll be something like Give Tom us- Cruise playing Mrs. Play- McGonagall. Yeah. <laughs> or, or like Hagrid playing uh, Elrond. Exactly. <laughs> okay. They're definitely Harry Potter related. <laughs> yeah. How many Harry Potter names I mean, are in there? Daddy was talking about Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, been, it's a fair few Harry Potter related. I've been listening to the <laughs> Harry Potter audiobooks like, for about a week straight. Literally, probably about five hours a day. I've been listening to Harry Potter. So. So. And then the other <laughs> the other participants have to guess. Right. Who's yeah. going first? Who would go first in the bag of hats? I'll go Who first if no one wants to. I want to. Oh, you can go you first. Just go to it. Tom. I won't take, take that away from you. One from the green. He's picking from the this green. He's taking from the green. So what's For the, the benefit g- of the tape, he's taking from the green. <laughs> so what? Oh, what is um the green hat? The green hat is the voice. So you wait. So you've got to do uh, this person doing an impression of the grey hat. This character. Okay. Yeah. Don't show me that. Did you see? I didn't see his folders. So I believe mean, Danny did see me writing these down. I, I saw. I saw him write some of them. <laughs> this is this is this is dumb. Why? Because. All right, now I'm gonna give it a go. Wait, wait, give it a go. Wait, I saw it a bit. Just stop looking. I think I might have been what you. <laughs> wait, have you got the actor and the character? Just or guess. Something? Just guess. Right. <laughs> 
Oh, you bastard. Give me the ring. Sean Bean playing Borrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah see you wow. <laughs> well, well done, John. One, one point to Danny. Would yeah. you like to redo that? Uh, <laughs> no, I have a go. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> picking from the brown. I think that's a point each, because I guessed and you superbly impersonated. Oh. That combo is not me. <laughs> Danny picking from the green. Uh, you have two uh, No, it's just... I said you should have used scissors. You did not use scissors. <laughs> For the benefit of the day. No, he did not use scissors. scissors. He has picked from two now. He has his selection. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, oh my god, what is he? <laughs> Welcome to Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Matthew Mel- do. McConaughey <laughs> doing um, <laughs> Mr. McGonagall. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the third floor is out of bounds. Yes, it Doing is. Dumbledore, Matthew, McG- <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, yeah. Dumbledore. <laughs> Jesus. Sick. Pretty good. Oh, Point to the top. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> the third floor is out of bounds. Yes, it is. Best thing about Hogwarts, <laughs> girls. I <laughs> keep <laughs> <laughs> getting older, they just say the same name. <laughs> <laughs> For the minute of the tape, T is picking yeah, from the team. Oh, this looks good. After this, we'll get some scores on the doors. I sincerely hope this is grand. <laughs> I hope everyone's keeping track of their score. Yeah, I, I don't know what uh, the scoring system is. Alright, let's see, let's see <laughs> what, what, what. Fuck! This game is in the beta stages. <laughs> uh, beta testing. <laughs> We're gonna go to high for space. <laughs> do it, do it. Oh, speak up, speak up. <laughs> Can we go to I can't do this one in a loud voice. Oh, okay. This is right, a right. Clint Leaning Eastwood. close. Leaning close. Do it again. <laughs> hey, punk. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. We're gonna go to hyperspace. Doing, uh, what's the guy that hangs That's out with Chewbacca? Uh, fucking Harrison, Harrison Ford's, Ford's character. In space. <laughs> Han Solo. Yeah. Yeah. Clint Eastwood doing Han Solo. That's good. Alright, fuck. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna punch it with my full form. I, I, I couldn't do it loudly. Just, do you, you wanna like, have a go? Yeah. Okay, alright. No! Hermione! Get out the great hall! <laughs> is this for a penny? Is it Filch? <laughs> no. Nah. Jackie uh, Chan playing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Billy. Riley. Is it Billy Connolly? No. <laughs> Let's go. Brian Blessed. Uh, what? He's uh, not. Yeah. Yeah. That's Scottish, uh, isn't it? Ewan McGregor. That accent. Let's get out, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the swamp outside Hagrid's? <laughs> what? That's this. not a swamp outside Hagrid's. I can't even, what is going I on? I can't even guess the character, let alone who's <laughs> doing it. There's a swamp outside Hagrid's. Uh, what? He's Scottish. Oh, 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 it's what Mel Gibson playing. No. Club. It's Brave. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone be quiet. It's, it's Harry Potter. Potter. It's Harry Potter, it's the character. Yeah. Harry Potter, Potter. Yeah. is the character. <laughs> he just said, let me put on my invisibility oh, right. cloak. It's Brave Potter playing Harry Potter. No, Mel Gibson no. isn't oh, actually Scottish. Oh, oh, I know who it is. Who? That's terrible, though. It's Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. There's a swamp outside <laughs> down <laughs> grids. I don't know how it's fucking it's like shit. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> who is it? Oh my God. Tom. Tom? Is this the last one? No, it's Bear. Oh, cool. maybe, maybe, maybe it is the last one, actually. I, don't I think I put enough for uh, two revolutions. Okay. And give me my other one. Yeah, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> new! Get out me! That's so Japanese at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like Sweden. Wait, is, is the green hat the character, the voice you're doing? Um, I suppose you can do it either way if it works. Yeah. Well, the green hat, I believe the green hat was the voice and the grey hat was the character. <laughs> okay, alright, I think I got it. Um, so, <laughs> sure. you'll come to me. <laughs> <laughs> or today, <laughs> my daughter's spreading. <laughs> so Tom, is this shredding. Jackie Chan playing Yoda? No, it's Don Corleone, surely. That surely is not well, the Marlon quote Brando. was the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> it's not an impression of Marlon Brando, it's uh, Sean Connery. Jackie Chan, Sean, Sean Connery, Connery yeah. playing Marlon Brando. 
Um, terrible Sean Connery. It's just, it's just oh, written Sean. Godfather here. So, <laughs> so just, any character. I was, just doing, I was just doing, you know, the classic character, Godfather. Yeah. Right. Troll. <laughs> The day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, oh god, this is gonna be terrible. Uh, uh, I don't even know what this guy says. Uh, I, I want some fava beans. What is that, Christopher? I want some the guy from motherfucking fava beans. Christopher Payne, Science of the Hannibal? No, it's, it's, uh, it's fucking, what's his name? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Flip Fabber Beans. Flip <laughs> With some Fabber Beans. Samuel L. Jackson played someone. Played Hannibal. Yeah. <laughs> nice. They said that. That was good. <laughs> they said that. There's one left, so Josh will be around. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> This game is good. <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't want to. What the, the fuck? Game. Okay, um, I, uh, I, I don't know. Where's the ring? Uh, uh, I don't. Where, where, where is the ring? Uh, where, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh, I went to get the ring. With Sam! And Sam wasn't there! So it's Frodo's the character. Yeah. And is the. Do a bit more. I. 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 My ring! It went! But I don't know where! You can tell T Dude the acting. Who is that? My ring? Uh, I feel like it's. What's that guy that played uh, that guy? I talk like this. But. Uh, Who's the guy? What are you doing, Tim? Uh, Robin Williams. Oh, no, no. I know who it is. The guy that acted the guy that's. That's, that's quite hard. Eddie Redman. Yeah. Is it Eddie Redman? Uh, yeah. yeah. I can't. I, tried to, I don't know how yeah, to do it. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, no, that was good, Eddie Redman. Right. It, should have, it should have done more. It's just more in the facial expressions, I suppose. No, it was good. I, I got yeah, it straight yeah, yeah. away. I just couldn't remember the guy. But is name. it. I mean, Eddie Redman's got an acting style for not for radio, right? Because he's always just like. They, they said that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they said that. The game is called They Played Them. They Played Them. <laughs> they Played Them. <laughs> they Played That. <laughs> At least it'll be like a feature. They right? said them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I know what uh, the only one that hasn't been said, so I'm not going to guess um. what it's Is it Mrs. McGonagall? <laughs> I know the guy that... Saying it. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know what. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay. Put the. Oh, uh, fine. Okay. Yeah, baby. Put the butter on my ass. On my Austin ass. Austin Powers. Yeah, that's the bit I knew. Put the, put Is it Bronson? <laughs> So, so um, Austin Powers <laughs> playing Bronson. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, put the butter on my ass. <laughs> Classic job. I feel like it's cheating to say the guy's catchphrase. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Austin Powers can say that. Put the butter <laughs> on my ass. Yeah, but didn't want you to say swamp. Did you say swamp? He said swamp. swamp. <laughs> Josh is the only one doing it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's good. If you like that one, you know, let us know in yeah. the comments below or uh, tweet us at. The link will be in the description. But the inaugural episode. If you want to hear more of they <laughs> did those, <laughs> then just uh, comment. Who said what? Maybe give us some suggestions on uh, who said this. Yes. Yeah, give us parts to play. Give us voices. And to whoever do. you know looks at the comments or. Write them down. Like yeah. we're, um, um, we're got... clearly very good at doing voices. <laughs> so. I, I think we're doing all right. I think, uh, to be fair, I don't know what I would have done with Eddie Redmayne, yeah, so I was so impressed that, that you got that. You should have played it the other way around. Well, should have just gone... <laughs> should have done that. <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought it was good. Who was um, Eddie Redmayne playing in that one? Uh, Stephen Hawking. But in this one, no, 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 no. Frodo. In, in Frodo. You should have done Frodo playing <laughs> Andy Redmayne. 
<laughs> but what does Eddie Redmayne do? He's oh, pretend he's in oh, a chair. Oh, oh, I've got a part. No, Eddie Redmayne doesn't pretend he's in a chair. That's yeah. not what he does. Yeah, that would have been a good way to play. <laughs> okay, so just to <laughs> yeah. move on from, from yeah, right. they did what? <laughs> <laughs> we have um, a couple of options now. I can either have a special story from Tom, or we have a little special segment that you guys can decide on. So what do you want to do? I think I'd rather go for the special segment. Mm. Like, okay, Tom, sorry, but you've been fucked up. Right, story man. from Tom. Oh, it's just, it's just a little bit of... Well, it's a story from Tom. It was just a Donald story. Trump yeah. thing. Right? We're just going to talk about some uh, current affairs. The, you know, current affairs can be safe for later. It's cool. I just thought Michael Steele was a pretty good name. That was so a porno name. name. It was enough. That is His first name was like... It's Steel. It was Christopher. I'm sorry. Uh, I read it as Christoph Steele. Christoph Steele. All Steel. of that is a porno name. It was Christopher. Name. Cool. Cool. Yeah, you can so imagine Mike Steele Ram. Well, now we're talking about it. I guess we better put it in context that Christoph Steele leaked some he, he, information about Donald Trump. Apparently, the Russian. Yeah, basically, some people who don't like Trump um, paid this fake spot, news. This, an ex spy. It's not. Well, he claims it's fake news. <laughs> he was part of MI6. Yeah, he's ex ex spy from uh, Christoph Steele. Double O Diamond. Double O F E. Double S D for iron. Yeah. Forever. Um <laughs> That's how long this story is. But anyway, yeah, long. he 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 like dug deep and uh, was his job was to get some dirt on dirt. on uh, Trump and he basically stumbled across a tape, a filmed tape of Donald Trump with some prostitutes in a Russian suite. Um I'm sure you've all heard about it. It involves some pretty lewd acts. Uh, we don't need to go into details What did he here. do? I've not actually read it. He, did he piss on them? No, he, he, got, he, he got them to piss on the presidential bed. No, wait, wait. Knowing that Obama was going to sleep in it at some point in the future. Wait, Donald Trump had Russian prostitutes in the White House bed? No, no. In, a pre- in a Russian hotel suite, presidential suite. Oh, so he knew if... Wait, has Obama even visited Russia? Yeah, he did oh, at some point. Loads of times. Did he? Loads of times. He has to, doesn't he? Does he? It's his job. Yeah. He doesn't have to visit Russia. He's been there. The one that was a Has he been there? Yeah. 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 The big one he was like, has to go. I don't think there's he has an to embassy go. there. I've never the seen a picture of him with Putin in oh, Russia. Oh, yeah, I've seen two or three. I'm pretty sure I have. You probably have. Hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is a fishy story. Right? Yeah, already this I'm not believing like... Christoph Steele's <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Um, but Putin, anyway, you know. so an interesting fact. Is the two uh, renowned newspaper, oh, uh, American porn magazines have already put out bids of a million dollars for the tape if it does exist. Oh, really? So they've got. I feel like Trump would buy it for more than that. Mm. If it existed, he'd buy it for more. Ha- well, if it exists, he probably has bought it. He seems pretty confident that it doesn't, though. So he, have but, like, know. Crystal Steele has already gone into hiding. He's, yeah. he's left his cats with the neighbours. Go to Russia, yeah. yeah. Water my plants. Give my money to the cool. big boys. And uh, please don't leak this tape of Trump, whatever happens, kind of thing. And it all came out because BuzzFeed posted a, like, article in there. Yeah, he called him trash. He called him absolutely... In that news pre- in that press conference, he, like, smashed BuzzFeed. And then... Really? That C- a CNN reporter was like... Or maybe it was Fox News. One of the two was like, uh, you know, said something. And then he just trashed them and they were trying to talk to him he's like nope and he was like pointing at I'm other surprised people surprised he even good. talked about buzzfeed like when would you oh no he called he was like when trash. would you hear like a president talking about you're a, talking a about a website like buzzfeed yeah no i know it's trump that's why it's like yeah i was thinking you know like uh i was thinking w- will they still let him have his twitter account when he's president because yeah. like when boris johnson was mayor of london oh yeah because he he used to go on like um have I got news for you and shit like that? Mm. And then when he was mayor of London, he couldn't go on it. And then when he finished, he could mm. go on it again. And I was thinking, well, the, surely you can't have a president that has a Twitter. Well, the president account. has its own account, doesn't it? It yeah. has uh, POTUS. POTUS. and the woman has Flotus. But do you okay. think he's yeah. just gonna literally still be posting yeah. like, every once, like without one of his aides being like, "You can't post that." No, well, no, because they know that's like that's why he was so successful because he's so outspoken and out- uh, yeah. Outlandish. But like, 
that that's all well and good when you're not actually the president. Mm. But when you're the president, that's a different sort of thing. It'll like, be regulated, definitely. Will. I don't yeah, think it you will. Could, you could, I don't know. You couldn't have the president just like outlandishly put a tweet out about Russia or China or whatever but and he be really like, oh, this Chinese lollipop I've got tastes like shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> I think I think there's a big difference, as you said, there's a big difference between being a candidate and being president. Yeah, but he's president-elect and he's still doing it. Yeah, but he's yeah, not but the president. he's not being... And he's, he's toned it down. He has toned it down. It's still fucking outrageous what yeah. he writes. Did you see his New Year's tweet? was like, all my, all my haters... Like can suck a lemon. <laughs> yeah, but that's classy. That's like, classy. And it, it's classy. Yeah. I mean, it was nowhere near as classy as that. All my haters can suck a lemon. We didn't even say that. that. <laughs> but he was like, "All my haters, you guys lost. I won. Fuck you. Peace." That's <laughs> like, good. Yeah, suck a lemon. Peace. <laughs> Just write that. That's, that's pretty good. good. Um, yeah, there's like I saw this. That thing should be our day. first tweet from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit. We should just go on a, like, you know, we should just follow Trump. He clearly knows how to work Twitter. When people slam our first podcast, all you hate is suck a lemon. Yeah, wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yes, wrong. Fake news. Wrong. <laughs> fake, fake tweets. <laughs> These Twitch walls. Uh, anyway, so, when we said we didn't want to hear Tom's story. Yeah, so Tom is going to go on strong armed us into this. But uh, before Tom strong armed us, I was going to suggest. Uh, I was gonna, you know, put something out to you two and you. I don't know why I said you two and you just then. Yeah, but anyway, these guys, the film experts, right? You know, like yeah, oh, Tom's, Tom's, a, Tom's a cool knowledge. Um, I was gonna give you the option of suggesting your favorite animated TV show of all time, or your favorite sci-fi movie of all time. Now you can't pick one or the other. It has to be you. All three of you say the same thing. Otherwise, it'll just be a mix and match. All three of us say the same. You can't. So just, ha- yeah. Oh, it can be different shows, but it has to be the same genre. Mm. Oh. I feel like we're just gonna say the same thing for for sci-fi. Wait, movies or shows? Shows for sci-fi. It was TV shows. Sci-fi like, movies. Sci-fi or movies. Or an- animated movie. TV or sci-fi. I feel movie. like for TV shows, Rick and Morty definitely gets pretty high yeah. up there. Yeah, but I'd one hundred percent go with Assume with go of season one to ten of The Simpsons. Yeah, that's true. Actually. That's pretty good. Um, Rick and Morty's like... Fucking tight. It's like, it's tight, but there's only two seasons of it. You can't really brand it as your favourite thing on two seasons. It's my favourite current thing, in terms of animation. I, think, I, I don't know. Yeah, I've sort of tailed off of Archer. Yeah, me too. The last season, I uh, got a bit bored of it. The last season was boring. But I, I think I'd go for either, like, South Park or... Um, what else would I What was it? Was Why was... Uh, uh, South Park or... I love South Park. That's South like Park's that. a bit too, like, hit and miss. I don't know. I and there's South just Park's too first, much like... of it. It's like you throw so much shit at me, some of it's going to be good. Well, I guess most of it's good. So, Whereas Simpsons is like 10 seasons I've... gold and then you just throw shit I've at me. I've just, I've just never found it funny. I, 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 and I, I'll obviously I'll play on it a little bit, funny. but it's just like when I watch it, it's like uh, Josh finds it really funny. But okay. it's kind of like when he laughs at stuff, I'm like... Whenever we watch it, you're like... Why are you laughing? Yeah, it's, it's just, Stop! No, no, it's not as if, you know, I mean, that's just me being a hater, but uh, genuinely, some of the stuff is kind of like, I, I don't find it funny. I don't know what's funny about it. But that, that, that's a it's mo- it's fucking funny. funny. No, 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 I'm not trying to hate or anything. I'm just saying, some of the jokes, it's genuinely can, not yeah, laughable. I, I can like. see why you wouldn't find it funny. It's too subtle for you. Yeah, it's you know? pretty subtle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's too intelligent. It's calling me an idiot, yeah? yeah. It's like, it's like the, oh, he's figured it out. It's like how the first Austin Powers film is really funny for like the weird subtle little mannerisms and stuff that all the characters do. Yeah. Kind of like that. that. And you don't get that either, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, you like more in-your-face. <laughs> you know, fart humour. Actually, I, I quite enjoy... <laughs> but I mean, you're not Elliot watching Mrs. Brown. I enjoy it's... subtle humour quite a lot. But I don't think some Simpsons is valued... It is disvalued by me for its subtle humour. South Park's pretty subtle, to be fair. Very, is it? very much Isn't so. South Park incredibly, nah. like, down your throat? No, because you'll have these moments of, like, this is obvious, but un- you'll have undertones yeah. of this is not obvious. It's, they, they basically yeah, do, like, political satire and social satire. It's in, great. Like, it's really fucking funny as shit. It's one of those roundabout way. It's clever in a minute. That it seems. Yeah, it just seems like South we're Park. spewing out this garbage, but they're not really spewing out garbage. I yeah, think, so. South Park's one of those shows that I I'll never like sit down at home and like load it up on my laptop. But if it's on, then I'll be like, ah. Oh. But then two minutes in, then I'll really want to watch it. Like there was that 
in first year when we must have watched South Park literally for like a month straight on uh, yeah. Netflix. Just oh. literally, it was always on every time you walked into the flat. It was still on. The mm. thing about South Park for me is I don't like. I think it's funnier when it's not tapping in like current media. Yeah, I agree. Or political issues head on. Um, I don't know. I feel like it did it really well in like a few seasons, like season twelve and like ten to twelve were really good for doing like very topical issues in and tackling them like in a hilarious way that made you just be like what the fuck what but it wasn't like in, in it was it was kind of stuff like um yeah, when the, the internet one. goes out and you know there's a scary ghost and stuff yeah. and then there's or maybe you're right actually they kind of just take the piss out of sort of broader those topical ideas ones are like I, I normally watch South Park episodes like probably like two years after they've come out anyway. So mm. that that the last season is one of the best seasons to come out. The the last season is is, is it's incredible. The one before terrible, but this one was was great because it was literally they changed they, they had to change it around who won the election and it came out the next day like oh this is and it's really good. That's too ugh. There's two lines. Like, like, obviously they're, they're not they're accepting that that isn't subtle, but. Uh, Fine. Yeah, that's it's like the funny. death of political satire. Nah, it's, it's just... funny, man. It's really good. It's... The death of political satire. <laughs> I wouldn't go but then, like, like the episodes where Cartman makes Scott Tenement eat his own parents. Yeah, that one's good. good. That's timeless. <laughs> that was good. You're right, actually. That, that will always be funny. Yeah, yeah, like, the, the topical <laughs> ones, it's like, you're going to watch that, the one where Obama won the presidency back yeah. and be like, well, I don't really get it, but... The one, um, yeah, and that's just... Sorry, it's very... It, I, it's very I feel like if you're not... Um, American, yeah. then you, you miss out on them. Yeah. Life. And even ones that are topical, but not something as big as the presidency, then it's like... I think, yeah. Even if you live were there and live through it, it's like... Well, I don't and and bigger things, bigger than just like one event, right? So you have like presidential election episodes, and then you have the episodes like Imagination Land, which is all about the war That's on terror so and stuff. And like America's outrageous, you know, yeah. vendetta against the Middle East or something. And, and it's... But it's just like... It's so funny. It's such a broad issue, and they just make it into this hilarious <laughs> fucking You know, episode. the funniest <laughs> things in those episodes to me is uh, how angry Mr. Mackey is getting when he's... That is the one where he's doing... Mr. Hey. No, that's the, uh, that's the tooth decay one, isn't it? Is that that's a different thing? Yeah, right? I'm sorry, that's yeah. funny. That one is so, so funny. Uh, it's like, you got to do a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's the one where Canada... Something's happening yeah. in Canada. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. The Canadian people are sure. Is that yeah. one is so like fucking good. Tradition? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is dunk- dunking her ankle in milk. As is <laughs> was, that, was that like around the time of the royal wedding? Or was that... Yeah. 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 Is that like a piss take? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was like a few <laughs> months after. Tradition. I think... Um, <laughs> Uh, there was definitely there's episodes like um, you know when Cartman's mum's getting railed by that, by that uh, everyone thinks Cartman's dead the Denver Broncos oh, and she's like she's yeah. so That's sad the best episode I ever saw and she's just getting railed um, yeah. what else is there that's, that's got that, that bit with Cartman when he's got the chain he's like <laughs> <laughs> I think um, the one where they go after Family Guy that was funny. That's funny, right? And the one about yeah. Alan, the one where they draw him or something. Uh, well, that's the same episode, isn't it? Is it the same episode? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course Cartoon it is. Wars. Of course it is. Yeah, yeah. That one's alright. I like that because it's just, it puts the obvious flaw in all Family Guy episodes. It's like, yeah. you would think that's bad. <laughs> it's good, but it's been written by a load of dude dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it, Okay, so maybe it's not the best. Uh, well, for me, it's, you know. It's, it's, I think it's so, quite a hit and miss sometimes, but yeah. it has I mean, some what is the, it, it has some of the most classic episodes of like comedy yeah. animation I mean, in all, it's all, all time. You know? It's definitely, um, I think it's better than. So I mean, whether I say it or not, most people would agree Simpsons is the best one ever. You're whether that's my opinion or not. Stinks of piss. I'm sorry, uh, I don't know if you just said it, but the thing about that Family Guy one, where. <laughs> Where, uh, it's being done. where it turns out that it's like it's all written by manatees yeah. or whatever it's like you watch that and then if you watch an episode of Family Guy you're like this is shit I want to watch more <laughs> South Park because this is shit it's written by manatees like. <laughs> um, yeah well, yeah so regardless of not my opinion on whether it's the funniest or not people the majority of people would say The Simpsons the early Simpsons but after that I'd, I'd assume a lot of people would say 
Yeah, you're probably right. I, I think it's better than Family Guy and American Dad. And a lot of idiots would say Family Guy. I, d- I definitely yeah. think South Park is The kind is of person funnier. that would say Family Guy is the kind of person... Uh, 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 Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> no, he probably the person who will watch every season of How I Met Your Mother back to back. Yeah, <laughs> and be like, oh, I've just found this great new show. <laughs> Although, you guys do like some similar shows. Um, what's it? 90210? 90210, is it? No, um, Brooklyn, <laughs> Brooklyn 99. 99. Brooklyn 99. Yeah, but that is kind of cheap. I'd never say that's like one of the best of anything ever. Oh, it's sunny. Yeah, 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 cheap. Yeah. Oh, it's sunny. It's really good. Yeah. Um, what else? But, but, but regardless, I mean, you know. To be you fair, get... like I do find Family Guy funny. It's it's funny. It's, but... it's great for just like that. It's just that nice. random, like just in your face, like that's so ridiculous and outrageous yeah. that I have to laugh. Yeah. yeah. It just is. Yeah. Like, sometimes it's really funny. What a Pete... stupid skit. That's funny. Peter they're, they're, is they're a really, really funny like character. Scoops. South Park is definitely the yeah. funniest program now, about um, right now. It's Rick and Morty. No, no, no. Yeah, of, of, those, of those, of, of South Park, Family Guy, um, I mean, um, Simpsons. Simpsons. It's the definitely by far the funniest now. Yeah, but it's not Simpsons. the funny anim, funniest funny animated thing out. And Rick and Morty's. Better. Having only watched three episodes of Rick and Morty. What I, other I Archer's? Rick and Morty's. Archer's better. Archer's better. Than Archer, South Park. Archer's definitely better than South Park. Uh, what about that uh, the, the F is for family? That was alright, wasn't it? I wouldn't mind seeing more of Bob's that. Bob's Burgers. That's fucking the, uh, hilarious. The Netflix thing, What's you know, called? F is for family. Oh my God, it's like, uh, that is hilarious. The scene where he's singing in the car. He's singing in the car and there's some midget that just slams onto the roof. That was funny. I that's forgot good about that. Show. That, that show. was you like watch? so yeah, much watch. better than uh, Bojack Horseman. Because it's made by the same guy, aren't they? You can tell they're drawn by the same guy. I've been watching Bojack Horseman. I don't think it's that bad. I watched this whole second series of Bojack Horseman. I was like... It's not. It's not that funny. But it's, it's not. But I it's watched the whole like, of the I first like series, the thinking, the, "Is this good?" Yeah. The, like literally every episode, like still can't tell. And then by the end, I'm like, "Ah, oh, it <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> it's was just shit." F is for family is hilarious when it comes. To I didn't. Summertime. I didn't think it was that good. <coughs> what F is for family? <laughs> I didn't think it was really good, but that one scene was really funny. Uh, yeah, and I the dad is really, really funny. funny. He is good. The way he yeah. swears is <laughs> so funny. You get so angry. <coughs> I'm going mad. Ugh. Okay, okay. Then moving on to the sci-fi films. Best sci-fi films of all time. Oh, because I, I didn't want to put sci-fi. Wait, wait. Sci-fi let's ones. all take a minute and think of our ultimate favorite sci-fi film. While they're thinking, I didn't want to put. We'll just do a. Of course, yeah. I didn't want to put a sci-fi uh, TV show because then we'd all be saying Stargate or whatever, some shit. Because right. they're all but shit. We'd all just say Definitely Firefly. wouldn't say. St- no, I'd probably say Star Trek. Yeah, oh, next Star, gen. Yeah. I'd say Firefly. Anyway, movies. Uh, uh, Alright, everyone take a minute. <laughs> and we're back. We've thought about our favourite sci-fi films. T, do you want to go first? Well, you can't just cut out the fact that you said Armageddon. I, did, I was taking a piss. Tom's favourite sci-fi film is <laughs> no, Armageddon. Just joking. Um, I'm not going to lie. My favourite... Should we try and guess it? Stay sat in. Yeah, what is it? Uh, it's gonna be something dumb. Yeah, it's gonna be something <laughs> dumb. Uh, legally blonde. No, <laughs> Jason X or something. Oh, wow, man. That's sci-fi. That's fine. Yeah, you always. Jason uh, Mad X. Max. Is that sci-fi? Yeah. Uh, is it? Is it? Yeah, sci-fi. It's just. No. It's set in What's the future. What's sci about that? Oh, the, the fucking uh, apocalyptic setting. That's, that's like classic that's sci-fi. Not sci-fi. That's, not that's classic sci-fi. That's just fi, mate. That's just fi. What? All films it's, are fine. It doesn't have to be in space <laughs> to be sci-fi. No, it has to have something like science-y about it. Just because it's set in the future, I don't think that okay. that means it's... Um, do you like The Core? What's The Core? Have you never seen The Core? The no. Core's like always See? on Film 4 at like 7pm or something. I don't watch Film 4 at 7pm. it's so shit. It's like 7 basically PM. the Earth's core stops spinning and then the, <laughs> the world is about to collapse on itself and be really shit. And everyone's gonna die. To and loads of meteors start hitting the earth for some reason. Like Rome is obliterated so by like meteors. So it's like a stupid sci-fi channel. channel. Like 11 yeah, yeah, it's literally like that. It was before the time of Shut sci-fi up, movies. Like my sci-fi. My, check my parents channel. watch it. Uh, watched. Um, they come round for dinner and they were like, "Oh, what's this crazy film the other day?" I was like, "Really?" So they were. Like, it's on the sci-fi channel. Oh. <laughs> Sharknado. Oh, and I was okay. like, "Oh god!" And they were like, "Apparently, there's a Sharknado too." Yeah, they, like yeah, yeah, yeah. they really like Chuck. Like, <laughs> Dad was like, so ridiculous." Um, <laughs> no, my favorite sci-fi film is uh, <clears throat> um, Catching Fire, The Hunger Games. 
I've never seen it. Do you want to get me a bit? <laughs> All right. No, it's, it's Prometheus. Definitely. Oh, yeah, it's a good film. That's your favourite sci-fi film? Yeah. It's good. It is good. It is no, 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 it's my favourite. Favorite. It's my favourite for... I don't know. It's quite honest. It's, it did blonde, it did spring to mind when I was thinking of sci-fi films, but, yeah, but I, I definitely thought of Alien and Aliens. The films being that are better. The films that are better. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I, I liked it the most. I wouldn't put it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't put it anywhere near my favourite. I, I just sure. yeah, I just think it is. I love it. I just something about it. That, I don't. As I said, I like. It's you know, modern. You know, just like that. It man. looks great. It's so yeah. It's really well it shot. It is a very good film, but I think <gasps> for my favourite. I think my stop interrupting. Oh gosh, Tom, lynch him! I think for my favorite, it'd have to be something. I, it'd have to be either really fucking good, or I could watch it like, like once a week. Or I could watch Prometheus once a week, definitely. Only I think twice. I'd get bored of it. You know, like with Shaun of the Dead, I could watch that. Like, oh, right. I could probably watch that twice a week and still yeah. not get bored of it. Okay, <laughs> I've thought of mine, and because we're not doing like our favorite. Like all time, the best sci-fi movie ever. What we think it is, we're just doing what our favorite one is at the moment. My favorite one's probably Arrival. Yeah, I was thinking uh, the one we just watched in the cinema. Yeah, the one yeah. we just watched in the cinema. That was good. Oh, did you go and see that? I never watched yeah. it. It's, it's really fucking good. sick. Uh, so yeah, good. Just to, yeah. I wanted to go, but Anna didn't want the to. The way see you know it. how you watched the review that uh, Mark Mott did. That you guys didn't right. invite me to see Arrival. <laughs> the, the, the way that the alien <laughs> ships come like, really daunting. Because they're like pebbles that go up into the air. Yeah. I thought that was true. I like that. I like the whole different style. It's very erect, wasn't it? Fucking it is cool. Man, it's very then at the end, they like leveled out. Oh. Because she couldn't get it up. Oh, I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but it's, it's got some imagery. Uh, in, cool. Independence Day, in terms of that sort of Day's alien cool. film, Independence mm. Day is pretty. Uh, Which one? The new one? Or the, no, no, no. The, first the new one, one is Independence Day 2, isn't it? So. I've not watched the new one, but the first one's like. It's well good. Yeah. It's got. Will Smith, Smith Jeff it's got, Goldie. It's got that, yeah, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff, Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum's man. Jew boyfriend. What's he good with? Hirsch. Hirsch, sorry. Hirsch. Schneck. Hirsch. Hirsch's Vernog. Hirschfall. No, it's like, it's, it's like the most Jewish name. Herman Schmerman Schmerville. Jeff Goldblum. It's like Hirsch. Schmuck. Hirsch. It's Schmuck. Sarubadinger. His name's no, Schmuck. It's like Herschel. Vernog. And it's got the that speech at the end, it's like... The, yeah, the music of the speech. Okay, yeah, sure. like, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> Hello, boy. Yeah, that it's where we get. It's got it all. It's got you everything know, you could want. You Remember know when, me? Uh, when Will Smith goes, what the hell is that smell? Yeah, you know, that's because he was really pissed off, and the like salt plains that he was walking on it was filled with like that place just stinks. It's like filled with like decomposing fish remains and stuff, and it just what, in real life? Yeah, and like he just. Is really pissed off. What a general <laughs> shout out. That's cool. <laughs> what the hell is that smell? I've got a lot of them ad lib sentences. Yeah. Uh, my favourite sci fi is probably Aliens. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. We'll see you did it again. Ooh. Try that again. My favourite sci fi is probably Aliens. It's still really quiet. I don't know. Yeah. Try it again. I don't want to shout. It's fine. No, it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. When, when we play it back, it will sound fine. I'm sure it will. Yeah, but um, a- Aliens is an obvious, like, well, good one. I feel like that's one I could watch over and over again. I prefer Whoa. Alien to Aliens. Uh, Alien, Alien is, is really slow. slow. Yeah. It's really scary. It is scary. It's what way Alien more tense. Alien is slow. Alien, Alien is, is so slow. slow. Alien is just like cool. scenes where it's just like hallways of ships. And you're like, oh. That's so good. It's so good at building to space. Like, that's good. That bit's cool. I must, I must, no, I prefer it. I, lo- I love Aliens because it's like space marines and shit. It's yeah, so good. It's yeah. rad. That is cool. It's yeah. like, there's uh, so many like great lines. That is it. literally like, it's a sick Fred, action uh, movie. In space. Yeah. It is. It's it's like it's like it's like up there with Die Hard in terms of yeah. action movies. But, yeah, Die Hard is sick. But I feel like I, I love yes. I love my horror sci fi and therefore Alien is cool. I like how in Alien you don't really know who the main character is until like halfway through. Replay said to the What end. about like um, None of us <laughs> have even said like a Star Wars film. Yeah, but they're not very good. Because yeah. episode five is good. None of them are that good. Though. Episode five is good. Episode five is really, episode really good. Episode six is. I'd all argue right. that episode five is better than Prometheus. Oh, no rebuttal. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. The, yeah, but my my suggestion isn't you know this is the best film. It's just the one I enjoyed. Which is the one you really like. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I think that's why sci-fi, Star, um, Star Wars has not sci-fi. Enjoyed. Star Wars has a trilogy though. I feel like I could watch that a lot and really enjoy it. Mm. I feel like you could put that on now and I'd probably watch the whole film. Mm. Mm. I would, but I wouldn't be like. Maybe because I've seen it so much, but I wouldn't be so drawn in. I've only seen it like ten times, I think. Yeah, I haven't seen it loads of times. I mean, I could then I could never watch the first three ever again. If I if that that'd be fun. I, I think I will. I mean, oh, I will hey Joe! Go away! Go away! No, it's it's not. Good uh, you were the chosen one. Okay. Uh, dude, you got grievous. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. One time, I was around someone's house, and uh, Star Wars Five was on. And we, I was like, I, I just put the channel on and they didn't change it. And we got like half hour in, it was like near the end of the battle on Hoff and I was so into it. And then their mum came in and they were like, oh, you don't want to watch this and just changed it to something else. And I was like, oh, what the fuck, I was well into that. <laughs> but I couldn't say anything because it would be rude. I think that's when I really, that's before I'd like watched the Star Wars this all the way through. Yeah, and that's when I uh, first probably decided to watch Star Wars all the way through. Oh man, she sounds like a great bitch. What, the mum? Yeah. Uh, whose mum was it? Was it Josh's? I wouldn't <coughs> care to comment on whose mum it was. Uh, what are you trying to say about my mum? <laughs> right. Well, on that note... Uh, Remember that time uh, <laughs> on the topic of Josh's mum? <laughs> when uh, uh, it was second year when we lived on Blake Road and all of Josh's family came round to Josh's birthday. Oh man! And Tom Tom, Tom came into the kit, uh, into the living room and was like, "Yeah, I just walked into the kitchen and all of Josh's family was in there." And he said, "He went, oh, <laughs> the whole clan's down," <laughs> and no one said anything. Oh, and then man. he just walked out <laughs> and came and bitched at you about it. Just came to me and was like, "That was really weird." I think mean, like, there was one point where you were outside my room, you knocked on, and I was like, "Oh, what the fuck!" And that's where your family or your brother was outside, and I thought. Oh. Oh, really, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a point where I looked out the wind. Well, I was getting changed, like I got out of the shower and I was just walking around the room in my boxes and stuff. And then I looked out the window and they were all there playing for frisbee. And I was like, <laughs> oh shit, I hope they haven't seen me on boxes. <laughs> oh dear. All right, well, I think that's all we've got time for today. Um, I want to thank you for joining us. Um, guys, have a good time. Yeah, yeah. had a great time. Yeah, uh, well, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. Hope you enjoyed the. Uh, that's what they said, Alan. That will be returning well, next week. I'm already thinking of new ideas. If you I, have any ideas for... Uh, I don't know how long that can run for, though. I feel like we're going to run out of... Maybe we need some different games. Before it runs out, give us some suggestions. We've got another movie. two weeks of that. Two so. weeks? <laughs> Filler? Yeah. But uh, no. We'll milk that for all it's worth. I'm sure that's probably <laughs> the best part of this hour. But yeah, we'll be back next week. Um, give the video a like, a comment, and uh, yeah, we'll see you. And suggest... Films that you want us to watch, if you've got a mm. film you think we should watch. Idea. Danny, the man. Yes, what do you think is. can get to the top of our list? You've got 7.1 to beat with The Rope. No, just Rope. Just Rope. 1948, Rope. Ah. That's Rope. That's, That's rope. rope. Peace. Bye.